All right, back with another video once again showing Billy Graham's Roman Catholic papal ties and sympathies. This is again showing some excerpts from David Cloud's article on wayoflife.org uh, exposing the Roman Catholic ties and connections of Billy Graham. So let's read these excerpts and show the fact that Billy Graham was essentially just a Romanist under the guise of Protestant, you know, Protestant fundamentalism. So it says here on this article, it says, by 1950, Billy Graham had so fallen under the power of Catholicism that he turned to it for solace during an illness. During his 1950 New England campaign, Graham fell sick for several days at Hartford, Connecticut. Executive Secretary Gerald Beaven stayed at his bedside to read to him from Bishop Fulton Sheen's uh, Peace of Soul. That's Wilson uh, Ewan, the assimilation of evangelist Billy Graham into, Roman, into the Roman Catholic Church. We have seen that Sheen was a great lover of Mary and was certain of God's mercy only because of his devotion to Mary. Why would a young fundamental Baptist preacher turn to the writings of such a man for comfort? Well, because they're of the same spirit, that's why. They're both of that same Antichrist spirit that is uh, prevalent in the Roman Catholic Church, the false religion of Roman Catholicism. But continuing on, it says, Graham was uh, soon openly doing what Mr. Beaven labeled as ridiculous and, and inconceivable. On September 6, 1952, reporter William McElwin, writing for the Pittsburgh uh, Sun-Telegraph, remarked on Graham's ecumenical activities with Rome. Graham stressed that his crusade in Pittsburgh would be interdenominational, and he said that he hopes to hear Bishop Fulton J. Sheen at one of the masses at St. Paul's Cathedral tomorrow. Graham said, many of the people who have reached a decision for Christ at our meetings have joined the Catholic Church and we have received com commendations from Catholic publications for the revived interest in their church following one of our campaigns. Uh, this happened both in Boston and Washington. After all, one of our prime purposes is to help churches in a community. But the problem is that the Roman Catholic Church is not the Church of Jesus Christ. The Jesus Christ of Roman Catholicism. You see, when Catholics say Jesus Christ started our church, you know, they're correct in a sense because their Jesus is not the one of the Bible. So, yes, Jesus Christ, their false Jesus, did, did indeed start the Roman Catholic Church. But their Jesus is not the Jesus Christ of God's word. Their Jesus Christ, essentially their Christ, is just the Antichrist. The counterfeit Jesus Christ. But, continuing on this, this other excerpt. It says, how have Graham's uh, ecumenical relationships affected him? The January 1978 issue of McCall's Magazine contained an interview with Graham by James Michael Beam. Graham admitted his change in thinking. I am far more tolerant to other kinds of Christians than I once was. My contact with Catholic, Lutheran, and other leaders, people far removed from my own Southern Baptist tradition, has helped me, hopefully, to move in the right direction. I have found that my beliefs are essentially the same as those of Orthodox Roman Catholics. For instance, they believe in the virgin birth, and so do I. They believe in the resurrection of Jesus and, and the coming judgment of God, and so do I. We only differ on some matters of later church tradition. Uh, some matters. The Roman Catholic Church does not even believe in the resurrection of Jesus. First of all, they believe salvation is through the church, through baptism, through the mass, through sacraments. They don't believe the biblical gospel. They are uh, just essentially ancient Greco-Roman pagans repackaged. That's all that Roman Catholicism is. It's the ancient uh, Greco-Roman heathen religion repackaged with a bit of New Testament Christianity mixed into it. So we see Billy Graham's sympathy towards the false religion of Romanism. Why? Well, because he was in spirit a Romanist when he get down to it. He had, he had, also there's evidence too that he was a Freemason as well, which Freemasonry is in bed with the Vatican. I'll just point that out. Freemasonry is totally controlled by the Jesuits in Rome. Same thing with the Illuminati. But the fact is, is that he had that ecumenical bond, even though uh, Jesus Christ said the way is narrow in Matthew chapter seven, verse 13 to 14, and second Corinthians chapter six, verse 14 to 17, talks about not being unequally yoked with infidels and unbelievers which Roman Catholics and Jesuits definitely apply under that label. So it's sad seeing his disobedience and how he still has such a big influence today, but that's the end times apostasy we live in. So I wanted to show you guys that more proof of Billy Graham's Romanist papal ties. Uh, don't be deceived by Billy Graham or his supposed, you know, his supposed evangelism or anything. You know, it was all it was was evangelism for the Pope and the Jesuits. That's all that, what it comes down to. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.